Hey, what's up guys? Tim here, and it is tutorial time again. So what we're learning today is the uh, Paracord Backbone Bra Bracelet. All right. So this is a really cool and interesting looking uh, Paracord weave. I think it makes a really interesting bracelet. Um, just the overall aesthetics of it um, just appears to be really interesting. And um, yeah. So full credit of this tutorial, or I guess this method at least, goes to JD of tying it all together. I learned it through his instructional video, but with his instructional video, he doesn't necessarily teach you how to make a bracelet out of it. He just teaches you how to tie tie it as like a bar. And um, yeah, I guess this is my this is my interpretation of his uh, method and how to make a bracelet out of it. Okay, so um, yeah, I used uh, the red and gray, and I believe I used about seven feet of each maybe six and a half but it's okay to have a little extra uh, seven feet should do for each color you should have more than enough for the average size wrist okay so um yeah without further ado let's get to the tutorial okay guys so i've got my two lengths of paracord i'm using red and gray and i've got this pinched off here because um, on this side this length is going to be the length of my bracelet as well as i need a bit of excess to tie the uh, stopper knot at the end. So I've got about, I think a little, maybe a foot and a half. You don't, you probably won't need that much. You can just clip off the excess. But uh, yeah, you need to make sure you have enough for the length of your bracelet as well as a bit of excess to tie the stopper knot at the end. Okay, so starting off from my starting point, I've got all my excess paracord down here. I'm going to start off with the red one, and I'm going to do a clockwise slip knot. So just loop it like that. Like here, you're going to take this side, put the loop through, like that, and you're going to tighten this strand here. Okay, now that's actually going to make the red side longer, but it's not a big deal. Okay, so now that's pretty easy, right? So now you want to um, keep track of which side you did clockwise and counterclockwise. Okay, because that's going to, you have to keep track of that. So from here, we take our two strands, take the loops, put it through here, like that, and then we're going to tighten this just by pulling on this. Okay, now because we are doing the knot and loop method of closure, your loop is actually going to be this this um, this piece right here. Let me get to focus. Okay, so you don't have to pull it super tight yet, but what you want to do now is before you go any further, pull a bit of extra out. You don't have to do this right now, but um, just in case you don't forget. So this is going to be your loop, right? You can tighten it when you get enough out. This is going to be your loop for the knot, okay? There. So now we have the beginnings of our bracelet. That is the loop. Okay, now the next part, it's pretty much the same thing. You just flip it over like this. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side except you're going to do a counterclockwise slip knot okay so last time was clockwise i went behind so this time i'm going to go in front like that right there is your counterclockwise slip knot and then this time i'm going to put it through behind this way you can make your second loop through there like that Okay, so I had my loop like this, and then I'm going to take a little excess large strand, longer strand, pull it through there. And then, again, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to cinch it down. It's okay if the loop is way too long. Just kind of keep everything in focus. So you can always adjust this after if it's too much. 
So you can actually give it this one a pretty decent tug because um, we don't need to loosen it after. Okay, so now again I've got my slip knot and I'm going to do the same thing. So you don't need this that big. But uh, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take your two strands that are going to be part of the bracelet. It's okay if they're uneven. And then I'm going to pull that through. And then we're going to cinch out the excess. Right? So you can kind of tug on it to make everything look a bit nicer, tighter. Right? So now I've done it twice. Now we're going to go back to the other side again. And we're just going to do the same thing over and over. So every now and then you just give it, cinch up the excess so the, uh, the knots look nice and tight. Okay, so I started off uh, clockwise, so I'm going to go clockwise again. I'm going to show you guys again. Go behind and through here. See, so I'm kind of just um, looping it and then I just put, put my thumb over everything and pull it tight like that. I'm sorry if I'm, you know, covering it a bit too much, but um, you kind of have to, to get everything tight. Make sure it doesn't stay too twisted. So yeah, the key to getting this knot to look good is to keep everything nicely tightly woven. Then again, you can say that for a lot of paracord stuff. Okay, so I've got my slip knot again. I'm just going to do the same thing. Take these two strands through here, hold up, and then I'm going to tighten all right so you can kind of see the I guess the vertebrae of the uh, the brace that's starting. See uh, my loop has gone kind of small but it's still okay I can still lengthen it if, if need be and if you already got like another bra bracelet with a stopper knot on it, oops, see I kind of pulled it too much. Uh, if you already got a bracelet with a stopper knot on it, you can kind of test, you know, to make sure this is big enough. All right, so let's just do this one more time. So I just did a red, so now I got to do a gray. So I'll go back here. We did red clockwise, so gray will be counterclockwise. Make your loop. Bring this behind, and I'm going to pull, pull. After the first few um, knots, you'll, you'll get the hang of it. And uh, this paracord I'm using is not that great, because it tends to get twists in it, and that will make your bracelet look ugly. So if you're not using the good stuff, um, just do try to work that out. But anyways, um, I'm going to start that again. Anyways, I can fix that later. Anyway, so I made my knot. I'm going to pull these through. I'm going to get that twist out later. Again, just do that. Cinch it up tight. Right? Then again, see, you can really see the vertebrae kind of starting to form. So back here. Go behind. Through here. Pull this through there. So I'm just going to keep weaving, and then um, when I get to the end, I'm going to show you guys how to finish it off. So as you can see, yep, it's forming nicely. I'm going to keep going up this way until we get to the end, and we can uh, finish it off. All right, so I've got my backbone bar woven to the desired length. It's all looking pretty good. Now we're going to get to the finishing stages. 
So uh, you've got your you know, two strands that kind of form the spine or base of it, and you've got your two strands you're working with. So first thing you want to do is everything focus. Okay, take the one on the left, put it over, and then kind of loop it around on itself. Put that through here. I'm just going to have something simple like that. Okay. And then you're going to take the one on the right and put it through the loop you just made, this loop here, and put it behind the two strands that form the, uh, behind like that, two strands that form the, the base of it. Put that behind, and then again, you're going to put this in front of the strand on the left. You're going to feed it, put it through the loop you just made where you started. Okay. Like that. So you should have something that looks like this. Hope it's not too confusing, but give it a couple extra tries if you need to. Okay. And now we're going to take this strand on the right and put it through this loop right here coming from underneath. Okay, so this right strand through this loop here. So I'm see I'm coming from behind. So I'm going behind. And then now I'm going to go through here. Okay, I'm going to pull that through. All right. And then we're going to do the same with the gray one. So I'm going to come in front this time. Take this gray one and put it through this loop here. Okay, so through the loop. Now it's looking a little messy, but uh, as soon as we cinch it up, it'll look fine. And that's it. So once you've got those two strands through, now you just got to cinch all this slack out of it. Okay, I'm just going to do that quickly now. So, yeah, take your time with this one. It's a little tricky at first, and see how I kind of tied these two together just to keep them together. That way I don't get uh, confused as to what's going where. So yeah, again, I'm just pulling all the slack through, and um, as you're doing this, you can kind of grip the knot here and just tug it down to get these uh, gaps out of here. It's so going to continue. Okay, and there we go. So. That's pretty good. I'm probably going to uh, cinch it up a little more. And now you've got your strands here. You're going to tie your stopper knot on here. And I'm just going to cut these off. And uh, then we can finish up the last knot. All right, so I've cut off my excess, as you can see here, and I've singed the ends. And uh, yeah, last step is to just yeah, tie your stopper knot. All right, so I'm not really going to... Um, detail this too well because I've got a separate tutorial on it. Um, so yeah, and that's the last step. And then from there after you get your um, stopper knot done, you just need to um, adjust and size properly um, so that the stopper knot is in the right position. Okay, so last two strands through. And of course, I will put a link to this stopper knot tutorial down below if you don't know how to do it already. I'm sure most of you guys already know how to do this one. Okay, so I've got my stopper knot a little messy, but I'm going to cinch it up. And I just got to move it down to the right spacing. Okay. All right, guys, there it is. I've got my stopper knot tied up, and it is good to go. I left a couple of the strands here just so you have something to tug on when you feed it through the loop to secure it, but you don't have to do that. You can just, um, you know, cut off all the excess if you want. But, um, yeah, I think that's everything. I uh, hope everything was clear in the tutorial. If any, if you guys have any difficulties or questions, let me know. And um, let's see how this guy looks on the wrist, actually. So, um, yeah, I think this uh, weave is really interesting. It looks, it looks really cool. And I think it uh, tends to catch a lot of attention. So it would be like a good conversation starter or something like that. Who knows? 
get this on. Yep, there we go. Yep, fits quite well. And uh, looks good. Cool. All right, so I think that's everything. If you guys, um, as I mentioned, if you have any problems, let me know. I'll do my best to help you out. But I uh, hope everything was clear, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time.